Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and optimize your Windows 10 computers for better speed and better disk usage. So let's do it. First of all, let me go ahead and take you to my website. And I have just posted this document Windows 10 optimization to reduce CPU and disk usage. So the first step that we need to do here is to optimize our computer. We need to look for the updates. So to look for updates, you just need to click here on the start button and type update and it will give you this option check for updates. You need to click on it and uh, you just need to click on check for updates. My computer is up to date and uh, let's just check quickly. In between it's checking for the update, I'll tell you something that you can only pause the update for 7 days and after that it will automatically enable it. The windows itself going to enable this updates for you. But to reduce this problem or to bypass this problem what we need to do is just go and close it. We can just go ahead and download this windows update blocker that is downloaded from third party website. It will automatically start downloading on the bottom of your screen in a moment and I have already downloaded it so let's just go ahead here and show the folder it's right here and it's also start downloading you just need to open it and run this 64 bit version because I have a 64 bit version of operating system how you can go ahead and check that is just this PC right here in the folder section right click go to properties and it will show you the version of your computer and from here you can see the system type 64 bit operating system so let's just go ahead and close it and as we have a 64 bit operating system we need to run this software so run it and it give you the options enable update and disable update so let's select disable update and apply now Now as you can see system status it's disabled so we are just going to close this. Now the window will not go for a new update until this software is enabled on our computer. Now in the next step what we need to do. Let me just go ahead and open the page again. So the next step is for the slow computers which are running really slow. What you need to do is go to run either you can use the shortcut windows r or you can just right click on the start button from here and then click on run then type ms config that is a shortcut command to open system configuration from here you need to navigate to boot and then navigate to advanced options after that you need to click here and you need to select the maximum number of processors that are available here once you do that just press OK and then apply and OK. Once you do that it will ask you to restart your computer. So just go ahead and restart and that's it. But in my case I am not going to restart it so just exit without restart. So this option is right here. You can read about it. From here I have mentioned everything in the document. Now we are going to do some advanced step that is indexing. So what this indexing will do, you can see the picture here. This will allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties. So it will make us easier to search for the files on the computer whenever we search the files here on the quick search. So if we disable this, the computer will not scan all the files in our computer every time. It's just disabled for us. So how you can go and do that? Basically we are doing it on our C drive where the windows is. So just open it go to this PC then the C drive right click properties. You just need to uncheck allow file on this drive have content index in the addition to file properties and apply and OK. This will take you to the next screen that I have mentioned here. 
confirm attribute changes so we need to apply changes to the subfolders and files everywhere so this can be done as well now going down we need to go into the privacy settings how we can just go and do that is click here again and type privacy and you can go ahead and use the privacy settings right here once you open it you can see that let app use advertising id to make ads more interesting to you based on your app activities so you need to disable this by disabling this the windows will not able to show you the ads means your computer is not sending the information to microsoft and they are not able to show you the ads now allow websites to provide local relevant content by accessing my language list so we can turn off this one as well allow windows to track up launches to improve start and search results so we can just close this one as well and as well show me suggested content in the settings app so you can either enable it or disable it depend upon your choice these three of them but the top one will be closed so these are the changes we need to do into the privacy settings after that the next thing is the background apps so what these background apps will do it's keep on taking the memory out of our computer using our ram and slowing down our computer performance how we can just go ahead and deal with them is click here again and then type background and here you can see background apps so just open it once you open it you will see lots of apps running in the background that we really don't use so i'm using a desktop computer and my camera is not there so this service is all, always in a running mode so we can just go ahead and off it calculator we don't need it as well alarm clock we don't need it or just turn off this from the top and everything will be disabled or otherwise you can just go ahead and choose the options from here and then you can use them but i don't really want to use any of these services like your phone your game bar recorder everything is here but i don't want to use them so just turn them off and if someone is using groove music and uh, mails and everything so you can just select them and that will be it now the background apps are also disabled let's just go ahead and close this after that we are going to debloat our window so here is a script from chris titus tech it's a really good channel about windows you can go ahead and follow him he just uh, build a script to debloat the windows what debloat means debloat means we are removing the apps which we don't use or that are pre-installed by windows on our computers so how we can just go ahead and do that is copy this command again go ahead and right click on the windows button and then windows powershell admin once you do that it asks for your permission so click on yes and then just paste the command here once you do that just hit enter and this command will automatically run on your computer first of all it will generate a restore point so anything goes wrong you can always go back to the restore point and no changes will be done by this debloat script so just keep in mind you can always go back to the restore point once the restore point done it will start installing these packages first of all the chocolatey and then it will ask your permission which app you want to install on your windows so you can just go ahead and select no and if you want to install the app just select yes it will take a moment so you can see it start transferring and now it start installing the new softwares that are uh, i think necessary for all the computers first of all the 7zip it's an open source compression software so i already have this software so just click on no hit enter and after that notepad plus plus i don't need that as well and then if fun view i don't need that one as well vlc i already have no then adobe acrobat reader i also don't want to install it now then the brave browser i don't want it and that's the process it's finished and uh, you can see everything is completed as you can see it start removing these apps 
Microsoft Solitaire, Network Speed Test, lots of applications are removed from here that are not needed by the user or not they are not using it at all and they are on the computer and keep sucking up memory from our computer. So it's almost disabling everything that is not required by a normal user and this will take only 5 to 10 minutes if you are doing it for the first time. So let it run and I'll be back in a moment. So the script is run successfully as you can see now we just need to type exit and hit enter so the powershell is off and we are ready to use our computer let me just go ahead and show you the task manager close this one as well and open task manager and you can see the cpu is on 21 percent memory is on 25 and disk is almost on one percent and my obs studio is working and the edge is also working and you can see it's nine tabs open let me just check so the services are running on edge that's why the cpu usage is around 15 percent memory is 25 percent and everything is done you just need to restart your computer and start checking before starting this whole tutorial i recommend you to just note down your memory usage cpu usage and disk usage how much is it and then run this whole tutorial on your computer and share your results with me in the comment box and uh, let's see how your computer perform after this tutorial okay so if you like my tutorial please go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and friends who are facing slow performance on their windows 10 computers so that's it for today thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day